We're going to look at how you can set the default viewer profile in your Google Cardboard app. Why would you want to set the default viewer profile? Well, I've just recently worked on a project where the customer was going to send out several hundred Google viewers to people in the post and tell them to download the app. In that scenario, what we want to do is have the app automatically know and be pre-configured about the viewer that they're going to receive in the mail. So they can just pop the phone in, launch the app, pop the phone in and start using it straight away without having to go through the scanner to configure the uh, app for that particular viewer. So um, I'm going to show you today how you do that inside Unity, um, Unity 5.6.1 and using the latest version of the Google SDK uh, to do that. So I've just got Unity here, I'm going to create a new project, so let's call it Cardboard Profile. We don't need analytics, so let's create the project. Cool. So first we want to set that up to use Cardboard. So we just go build settings. I've got an iOS device connected, so I'm going to change my platform to iOS. And I'm going to create a new empty main scene. And we'll go to our player settings. And with... Um, iOS, the important thing is to set your bundle. Cardboard profile. And Unity 5.6 has Google Cardboard embedded inside it natively. So we can actually just immediately start using Cardboard by selecting Virtual Reality Supported and then adding Cardboard to the list. So we could now build the app and it will work on the iPhone and we would be instantly in cardboard mode. The user could hit the settings button, scan in the QR code off their viewer and have it configured correctly for that particular viewer. But we want to do that automatically in our app. So to do that, we actually need to make an SDK call onto the Google Cardboard SDK. It's a specific feature in Google Cardboard, so it's not supported by Unity's generic API. So what we're going to do is we're going to download the Google SDK for Unity so just go to your browser and let's search for Google VR Unity and we'll go to the developers.google.com VR thing for Unity, we'll scroll down here and you can see download Google VR SDK for Unity yes you need Unity 5.6 for it download SDK and our SDK is now downloading With our Unity project already open, we just click on the Unity package and we can import in the whole project. Now what this SDK does is it gives us Unity functions that we can call that will actually call into the native Google SDK that's built into Unity 5.6.1. Okay, so what we actually want to use from the SDK, if we look into it, Go to Google VR, look at scripts. So the script we want to use is this one, GVR Cardboard Helpers. That was added in the recent 1.6 version of the Google VR SDK for Unity. And it has a function here called Set Viewer Profile. And that profile uh, is actually passed in as a URL or a URI. And it doesn't actually go to a real website. That URI has all the settings for the profile encoded inside um, its parameters here. And that includes uh, even the name of the viewer and the company that manufactured it uh, and a whole range of settings so that it can work correctly with all different phones. So all we need to do is actually, in theory, call set viewer profile, pass in our URL for our particular cardboard headset, and then if the user has not already set up a viewer profile for, for this particular app, then it will use this by default. The user can still go ahead and override these in the settings and scan in with a QR code a different viewer, um, but by default will be set up for our particular viewer. So let's just see what happens. Let's just run the app first before we do that. So I'm going to do a build. Okay, and I'm also going to uh, choose not to automatically sign my app in this particular case. 
I want to um, use my own provisioning profile. I'm doing that because Google Cardboard, once you've paired a device, it remembers that pairing based on your provisioning profile, not your bundle ID. So you could change your bundle ID and when you reinstall the app, it'll still be uh, connected to whatever device you, whatever viewer you've previously paired it to. So I'm just gonna um, not let Unity automatically sign up with an existing profile. And uh, now we'll do a build. Take one of those builds. There's our window. So iOS build. Now, um, again, when you're using native features like VR, you need to open up the iPhone workspace, Xcode workspace project, not the actual Xcode project itself. And we need to do that because uh, Unity 5.6 uses CocoaPods to add in additional uh, APIs and SDKs. And um, we want the GVR SDK. Okay, so we go into here. Uh, now I've said I'm going to do my own provisioning profile. So I'm going to select Dev Wildcard and we'll select the same one. Yeah. So now we hit play. Okay, the app has started up. So let's go to our view of the app. And it's sideways there, but it says, um, please place your phone into your default cardboard viewer. So if we turn our device sideways, we can see we're in cardboard mode. Again, pressing the settings, we can see that it says there we can switch our viewer, and our current viewer is the default cardboard one. Okay, so we want to change that so that it is our default. So let's go back into Unity. Okay, so let's come back here to Unity, make sure we're in our main scene. Let's create a script. We'll call it setup cardboard. And let's put that script up onto our main camera. So click on our main camera, we see our script is there. And uh, Let's go and edit our script. So we need a URI, which is going to set up our profile. So we're going to go public string cardboard, URI, cardboard profile URI. And uh, as soon as our app starts up in our awake, we're going to change this to awake. Get rid of this function here. We want to call our cardboard helper. So that was GVR cardboard helpers dot set viewer profile and we'll pass in our cardboard viewer profile. URI. Now where can we get a URI from? So there is one example one um, that they give you right here in the uh, 2015 cardboard viewer v2. So we could just go and paste this one in. Uh, and it would work in theory, or um, we can just go through the process of how a manufacturer would actually create one for their headset. So if we go back to our browser and um, let's go to vr.google.com and we'll select that we want cardboard and let's pretend we're a manufacturer and you'll see down here somewhere we can actually create a viewer profile so we'll go to viewer profile generator and basically if you're a manufacturer you come here you put in the name of your company Tales from the Rift give your viewer a name um, my viewer and then you can configure up all the different settings um, that you want to have for your particular hardware viewer. Now, uh, I'm just gonna leave these all at the defaults. Uh, and you can come in here and you can go save and load parameters. And you'll see that it's generated us a uh, configuration profile URI 
for our settings here. So I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to come back into Unity and I'm going to go to our component and just paste that in. And hit save. Now in theory if I was to run this um, that would actually work. Um, but I'm going to show you it actually doesn't work right now with 1.6. So let's just go back to Xcode, let's stop our build and then let's just rebuild. So we're starting up now. Let's go and look at our device. And if we open up the settings app, you'll see that we're still default cardboard. So what happened there? If we look at the logs here, um, we'll see that it says uh, DLL not found exception, unable to load DLL GVR. So the reason is that there's a bug in 1.6 of the Google SDK. So Let's go and fix that. Um, if we come into Cardboard Helpers, we see that um, it's actually going to call GVR set default, default viewer profile, and that call down here is going to call onto this DLL called GVR DLL name. So let's just find where that's set. And you'll see here that it's using that name, but actually that's incorrect for iOS. So I'm just going to fix that. So what we need to do is have a different DLL name for iOS. So hash if Unity iOS else and if put it down there. So for iOS. DLL should all be called underscore internal with a capital I. So I've already submitted a pull request to um, Google's GitHub for this. This is on uh, Google VR Unity GitHub. If we go to the GitHub site and then pull requests. Uh, I've got a uh, pull request opened up here waiting. So hopefully by the time you're using it, maybe they've got a 1.7 version of the STK out and it's got this, um, this fix in it. You can see the files changed are uh, what we've just typed in there. So we'll go back to Unity and we'll kick off a new build, Command V. Okay, so we're starting up. Let's go over and look at our iOS device. Hit the settings button. And so now you see that the viewer is called My Viewer, which is the one that we created. So that's um, the basics of doing it. There is one important uh, gotcha that I found when using this, and that is that you have to make sure that you actually are using the cardboard SDK at the time you make that call. So if we go back in Unity and just go to um, Project Settings and look at our player, um, here we selected Cardboard, but you could have multiple ones. So you could also have None, uh, or you could have Daydream, you could have various other ones that will come in the future. If you're going to make a call specifically onto the Cardboard SDK, you need to make sure that that is the current one. So if I made this a different priority and we booted into Unity and we started with none, if you actually make this call um, like we do, your app will crash. And that's because if we look at the code that it's using, it's going to get a native pointer from the VR device. And if that's not the cardboard native pointer, then trying to make a random call into a DLL that's not the one you expect is going to result in some sort of crash or unexpected behavior. So in this particular case, I know that Cardboard was the one that was set up. It was the only one that we're using in the app, so it'll work. But if you are switching between different profiles, uh, you should check the VR settings and make sure it's the one you expect. 
what you could do is just go using unity engine.vr if the uh, settings uh, loaded device name if that equals the one that is the same name as you've selected if I can type it cardboard then make that call otherwise don't make that call and that will work for you and uh, you can switch between different profiles so I hope that was useful um, check out my blog on talesfromtherift.com thank you